with adult males reaching lengths of 11 to 15.8 metres and adult females 8.3 to 11 metres, the sperm whale is the largest of the toothed whales. Breeding populations exist in the Caribbean, around the Azores and Canaries and in the Mediterranean, but in cold temperate waters only males are seen, ranging singly or in small groups in deep waters in Davis Straits and off Newfoundland in the west, and off Norway in the British Isles and in the Bay of Biscay in the east. It's the head shape in particular that tends to be diagnostic in identifying the different families of large whales. The sperm whale has a large square-shaped head, occupying at least one-third of the body, and is particularly pronounced in adult males. This provides the species with a very characteristic shape, distinguishing it from the more streamlined, torpedo-shaped body of rorquals such as blue, fin, say, or minke whale. Sperm whales are also distinctive in lacking a dorsal fin, having instead a triangular or dorsal hump two-thirds along the body, followed by a spinal ridge. There are also corrugations to the skin, giving it a shriveled appearance. The first view of a cetacean, particularly a large whale, is likely to be the blow as it surfaces. This itself can be diagnostic. The sperm whale, for example, has a single bushy blow, directed forwards at a sharp angle to the left, and rising to a height of about one and a half metres. During a sequence of blows, the species is frequently seen logging at the surface. Whales that make steep dives often throw their distinctly shaped tail flukes into the air, and this is often a useful identification feature. Sperm whales in particular do this when diving deeply, revealing broad, triangular and deeply notched flukes with slender pointed tips. <laughs> 